the wetlands that fringe the lake are really special too. They have a rich web of wildlife with a unique array of insects, breeding birds, frogs and even otters. I came across this beautiful wildflower called Grass of Parnassus, which only grows in very wet places. I asked local fisherman and guide Larry McCarthy to tell me some more about the wealth of wildlife in Loch Corrib. Larry, it's really, really shallow here. We're right out in the middle of the lake. Is that one of the things that makes Loch Corrib so special? Absolutely. A lot of it is no deeper than maybe three metres. And there's an abundance of food down there. You know, the fish do extremely well. If the fish do extremely well on a lot of food, they grow bigger, they grow beautiful, and big and beautiful tanglers is what they want. So they travel from all over the world to come here. You know, Loch Corrib is, is definitely the jewel in the crown. And when it comes to wild trout fisheries in Europe, it's, it's up there as the most important. There are several threats, you know, you have pollution, you have invasive species as one, for example. Curly pondweed, Ligrosiphon major, it is because we had a situation a few years back that there were several bays on the lock that were completely covered with it, blanketed. And from an angling point of view, you couldn't access them with a boat. Um, you couldn't fish because we generally fish with small flies and light line. If you did happen to hook a fish, you were going to lose it in the weed. And it's there's not... the ecological value, but there's also there's an economic value, right? Huge, huge economic value. In the region of 836 million euros comes into Ireland every year through angling. 836 and that's million yes. from angling. That's and that's amazing. recreational that's angling. Amazing. You know. <laughs> You know, it's not just the angling that's the attraction here, it's the whole ecology of the place, the whole ecosystem. We have uh, lots and lots of curlew arrives, snipe, a lot of overwintering ducks, you know, and um, come widgeon, mallard. It's, it's just incredible, the ecosystem that's here. And I suppose one of the fears is that with the likes of these invasive species, you know, what's going to be the effect on all these these beautiful creatures that we have in Loch Corrib. Because they know. come for the, the diving, they come to the, for the food that's in the lake, that's in the water. Yeah, absolutely. Now, if we affect the balance in that ecosystem, who's to say that there won't be sufficient amount of food there for these birds to make that journey? So, you know, something in the bottom and the substrate of the lake can have an effect on some of these birds that are migrating, as with, you know, the fish that swim in the water. The people that come to me from all over the world, they don't just come to experience the fishing, they come to experience Loch Corrib for what it is. Mm -hmm. You know, it's an incredible place. It's a beautiful place. It has amazing wildlife. We want to keep it that way. Anglers need to be vigilant. They need to watch what's going on. You know, um, we're custodians of this wonderful water for the people that are coming behind us. Much, Larry. You're very welcome. It's my pleasure. That was just brilliant. brilliant. Absolutely gorgeous. I just love exploring new habitats, and this lake really is very special. There's an intricate tapestry of life here, from the tiny bogs and the algae right up to the otters and the big water birds. And all of these components work together in a beautifully balanced ecosystem. So when something like an aggressive, invasive alien comes in, it upsets that balance and it sends a trauma right throughout the whole ecosystem. Coming up in part two, I'll be travelling to the southeast to find out about a plague that's just arrived in Ireland, a plague that's wiping out our precious crayfish populations and a hermaphrodite clam that started to run rampant in the River Barrow. 